Mining we finished about two weeks ago. The site's had about 30 mils of rain since, and it's located about oh, 5k southwest of the Cotter Dam uh, here in the ACT. We were contracted by Parks Conservation Service and the ACT to plant 2,000 trees and shrubs and ground covers here on this site. This site was an old uh, pine forest and over the years, over many years, it's been a floodplain um, and also to acting as habitat for many diverse species. One of the more dominant plants, we're going to say weeds, I say plants, that's coming up on the site is blackberry and that's quite natural on a pine forest site for some reason whatever it is to do with the soil blackberries seem to love that acidic nature but one thing i've noticed in the planting too since we've been here is that there seems to be a lot of recruitment coming up in the areas where the blackberry have been um mulched down they've had a forest mulch we need to plant or to prepare the area for when we come into plant just basically give us some area to plant into otherwise it would have been just one big infestation of blackberry now we love the work that we do with various different government groups and organizations one thing we are noticing as i said before is that there's actually a lot of natural recruitment coming back and i'm not trying to put myself out of job here but as soon as we see some disturbance of where the blackberry has been mulched down, and blackberry create beautiful soil, beautiful soil. You get a leaf drop every 12 months. You get different critters coming in, birds, um, foxes, deer, all what you consider pest species. But since we've been here, so many native birds are actually using these blackberry as habitat. And now I'm not advocating for the growing of blackberry even though they are a great food source getting back to what i was saying before what i'm seeing is are we taking the right um path here with planting these areas back out where creating some disturbance will probably actually do the job we want it and that's why the plants will come back by themselves so since we've been here we've noticed a lot of different undesirable plants as opposed to weeds we call them undesirable plants one feature of this site has been a wet summer so the blackberries have done exceptionally well and another one that's done exceptionally well has been the um flaxseed flea bane everywhere but again it's fulfilling a role in the landscape it's actually um mining minerals from down deep bringing them to the surface and making them, making them plant available so if we can get that material back on the ground in the form of mulch then we're only going to be building more of that soil carbon and leafy organic matter on top to break down and put back into the soil so this is one of the areas we observed you can already see here this is where we've had what's been a forestry mulch to go through and take down a lot of this blackberry the flea banes come back up this is the area through here where it was really thick around these acacias up here but if we go through we can already see right down here right there acacia right there we've got a lot more coming up in here and this gets really thick up here with um with blackberry also native raspberry another one here too another another acacia popping up here already so when we come in this area three this has been hit really hard with the forest mulch as you can see there's also a bit of scattered blackberry plus also some native native raspberry in here but look at the acacias coming back already six months later you've got progressively plants coming back just because of that disturbance that mulch layer which has been settled opened up and now these plants can come back through so question is are these blackberries as bad as what that we've been told look here's another acacia just here early pioneer species they, they're going to be getting that canopy up one just there there they're like here's my cat's back so they're going to be the early successional plants that are going to come up and provide that canopy for others to pop up through look, i really do believe there is an area because this is what we do every day we, we we do believe there is an area for us to come back and plant and revegetate areas to bring back seed banks and to encourage um, the species to uh, proliferate again in, in light of things like um, pine forests and fire but 
is it possible that we can actually, just by creating some disturbance, um, whether that be mechanical, whether that be fire, um, any other tool you've got at your disposal to to get the system going again and get it, get it up and running, get these seed banks which are sitting there dormant, activate them and get them going again. So you can already see after four weeks, great bit of growth in that plant there, but again, the the um, the early adopters, the early pioneers coming back up through to cover the soil, and Mother Nature doesn't care. She just wants something to cover the soil, and there's a plant there to do it. She'll put it into um, into action. But I just want to look at to a couple of the um, the planting techniques here. And one thing I was big on a few years back was making sure that you get this rain catcher just above or just below the um, the top of the uh, the planting mound here. But you know, I've reconsidered that because what happens is, while wind can catch these and flap them around if they're not secure properly, this has done. This has been done really well. That's not going to go anywhere. It's, it's holding really well. But what it does do, it allows for this to wash in. See that? I'm going to show you a couple of other sites with another different planting technique we've done up here, which is going to stop a lot of that. Still, you know, have the rain catcher acting as that um, di diverter of rain and moisture back into the, into the tree, but also too, how to stop the, um, the weeds from coming up. So these trees here have been planted by, let's say, person A. You can already see in the guards here, there's a fair bit of soil falling in. Um, planted well, don't get me wrong, planted very well. And then over here planted by, we'll call them tree planter B. And as you can see here, Tops are just sit just above the soil level, right? So nothing's getting in while this is this grass is being stopped from growing. It's stopping all that soil ending back up in the guard. Hey, Philip. See that there? We already know these guards from Planning Systems Australia. Uh, the pink ones, which the pink, the red spectrum of light actually increases photosynthesis. What we're also finding now with the black is, the black have been great, particularly in those sort of cold climate areas, wheat, heavy frost. So in winter, you've got a lower sun angle coming into the guard, and it warms the guard up ever so slightly, and brings the temperature inside and, and disperses the frost early for the tree. Now in summer, You've got a higher sun angle, so you've got less surface area being affected by the um, the sun. But also, too, what you're going to get is heat rising. So heat can cool air can come up underneath here, rise up through the guard, and out through the top. So it's never going to cook the tree. In other videos, too, we're going to go and show you why we've gone away from the white rain catcher and gone to the black rain catcher. What we're finding with the black rain catcher is that you won't see it enough now, but it's actually helping to solarize those grasses underneath and stop them from growing. Where something like the white rain catcher, you still have a certain amount of light getting through. See there? See how much more of that seed bank is actually growing up? Now, it's not going to affect the tree itself because it, it can't grow much more and it's going to grow outwards as opposed to growing upwards it won't affect the tree but the black's proving to be really good in stopping a lot of that aggressive grasses like kaikuyu and cooch it's going to be interesting to sort of see how the site goes we, we keep quite close contact with all our clients uh, on sites whether it be government or or private customers just to sort of see how things are going, how our techniques are working, what's working, what's not working, and again, what guards work where and what guards do well and what guards don't.